now I will show you a program in which this command button should move around this whole screen in all directions from left it should come to the right then down then left and then top and keep on making around this way so how to do that so you can see the visual basic interface the command button I have placed here start button will start stop button will stop reset button will move the command button to its original position and a timer control by default it is true I have made it enable is equal to false and interval is equal to 1 interval means 1000 is equal to 1 second so 1 means in 1 second 1000 times but it doesn't as you could so many times so let it be at least some speed is there so this one will be the fastest one so now let's do the programming in start button the code will be timer1 dot enable is equal to 2 so that the program can start you can copy the entire line and select command 3 which is for stop and you can paste it here and make it false so this way start and stop will work now you can select other command button which one is for reset so here you can make it command 1 dot left is equal to 299 the same way copy the code and the top position also make it 299 now let's come to the interface so this is command 1 this is command 2 this is command 3 and this is command 4 now let's come to command 1 and see its left and top position so left you can see 299 and top also you can see come little bit down you can see top you can make it 299 so this way the basic code is ready now we have to code in the timer so double click on the timer and write the codes so let's uh, write the flat code first so command 1 dot left is equal to copy so as it will be moving to the right side so we have to make it plus 100 for moving it down paste the code you have to make it top position here also the property top so first it will move to right side then it will move to bottom then it will move left side so copy this code again and paste it and instead of this plus make it minus now as it have reached to the left now again it have to come to the top so copy this one and paste it and make it minus 100 so I have written these four lines as a flat code but without logic so now we have to define a logic because if we run right right now it will zigzag the program first it will move to right side then it will move bottom then it will move left then it will move top and no result will come so now let's build the logic so we can define the logic in such a way like uh, suppose come to the interface so you can see this button position is top 299 and left also 299 so the logic can be if it is less than 299 the left value and the top value then keep on moving to the right till it reaches 6000 let's see which can be the best position we can see 6120 till here it will be okay so if it crosses 6000 then keep on moving bottom by top value adding 100 it will keep on coming here you can see 5200 let's make it 5000 so when top value reaches 5000 again subtract left value by minus 100 till it reaches less than 300 when 300 reaches then you can come again at the top 
by subtracting top value by minus so this way the logic will be built so now again fix the value top is equal to 299 and left is equal to 299 now the programming have to be done in the timer so double click on the timer so you can see this four line will be executing but the logic is required so now let's make the logic like define a variable dim i as let's say byte because now boolean will not work because there are four positions it will move to right then it will move to bottom then it will move again to left and then again to top so there are four positions so we'll be requiring such a value which can store four values so byte will be okay so i is called so i is a variable of byte type so now you can write here if i is equal to 1 or before making this one you can say if command 1 dot left is less than equal to 200 299 and command 1 dot top also less than equal to 299 then i is equal to 1 and here you can say end if so you can see the logic if it is if the left value is less than 299 and the top value also less than 299 make i is equal to 1 and here if i is equal to 1 then first give end if and now you can copy this value and paste it here so this way left will keep on adding 100 one thing this variable we have to define in the general declaration because if we put in this procedure of timer and if we put it here then after this end uh, sub it will become zero so the last value will be erased so cut it from here come to the top and paste it here now let's do one thing let's try this much of program only start start the button so you can see something is wrong let's stop it let's find out what is the problem okay the problem is this three line this three lines disturbs the program now let's start say start so you can see it is moving right side but it is going out of the screen so stop and give a second logic so now copy this to code and paste it make this if as else and now give the logic if the left command if the left property is now less instead of less than greater than equal to 6000 top value will be same because if the position is here it will keep on moving to this side so left position is increasing but top value is same so when it crosses 6000 so another action is required that is make it 2 i will become 2 and if i becomes 2 then copy this code and if i is equal to 2 then top this code will be required you can paste it here and remove the comments so if it is i is equal to 2 then top value keep on adding 100 let's try out start the program press the start button some message coming let's see ok ok we have to make this one else now start so you can see it is moving right side now it is moving bottom now it have gone out of the screen because we have not given the third logic so let's give the third logic stop the program now you can just copy the codes copy this entire code paste it here and 
in this case now it will become 3 and now you can define again if it is greater than 6000 and top is now greater than now greater than equal to 5000 because top value will keep on increasing if it comes to the bottom and left it is at the rightmost so 6000 will be same but top value keep on increasing now if it crosses 5000 then make it i is equal to 3 and now here you can copy this code paste it here make this i is equal to 3 if it is 3 then again left value will be subtracted by 100 this code will be required so you can cut it remove this comment and paste it here now let's try this much of code start the program now press start so it's moving to the right now moving to the bottom now moving to the left now it will cross the left because we have not given the fourth logic so now let's start stop sorry and give the fourth logic also so copy this two lines paste it here so this is the final logic I will become four now you can see if left positions now you can say is less than equal to 300 because top will be 5000 only because it is in bottom and now moving to the left so if it is less than 300 sorry not 3000 then i is equal to 4 now you can copy this line to give the fourth logic if i is equal to 4 so now the last code you can copy it cut it from here and paste it in this one so the fourth logic is also ready fourth condition so now you can see this way this is one set of code which gives the value of i and this condition checks the value of i and according to that it reacts now let's start and see start the program start the program so you can see it's moving right now it's moving to the bottom now coming back to left now moving to the top and it's circling around the screen so this way the code is working fine if you press this stop it will stop in that position only because it only stops the timer if you press start it will continue so now we can stop this program now I will show you if this button moves one round its caption should be one so the number of round it takes it should keep on increasing the value so how it can be done for this stop the program now at the top declare a variable like dim round times as byte you can give any variable names but it is always better to give a proper name like this round times now come at the bottom so by default it will take zero so you can see this is the place from where it starts moving not exactly it means uh, it makes the value i is equal to 1 so here only you can write the code around times is equal to copy the variable paste it and make it plus 1 and here you can give command 1 dot caption is equal to sorry caption is equal to round times so this way for the first value it will add one and store in round times and round times value will be changed to caption now let's try out start the program start the program you can see one means the first round let it continue with the second round so now you can see two is coming let's see in the third case what it does so this way you can see it is taking the third value also so now you can stop the program and this way 
the tutorial of moving a command button around the screen is complete. Thank you.